Hey, so I wanted to put together a little video showing you how I set up my f little family room to be a uh, perfect shooting place for uh, an interview that I did with, uh, with a client uh, in Orange County. So this is basically a time-lapse video of about 40 minutes of my setup and uh, some of my shooting. So as we start here, you'll see I'm clearing out the area and uh, taking out the parts of my backdrop, which is two tripods and then the top part that holds the linen. Uh, on it, or rather the backdrop. So you'll see me folding it out here, um, straightening it up, putting it on the stands, and then uh, I pull it to the sides. And best practice is, is to actually uh, mount the little clips to the side of the pole and then uh, lift it up with someone helping you moving it up at the same, uh, same time. So now I'm pulling it out, making it all straight, making sure there's no wrinkles in it. Uh, you use the clips to, to make sure there's hardly any wrinkles in it. Mine's brand new, so there was a few wrinkles in it on the shoot. Uh, you'll see I'm pulling out my, my light kit, which is five lights. Uh, this kit has uh, a key light, a fill light, hair light, uh, which is all for the talent, and then two backdrop lights to actually light up your backdrop. As you can see, I'm setting them up. I got three chairs for the interview. It's two people in the interviewer. Uh, setting up the hair light right now and plugging everything in, routing the wiring around uh, the interview station so you don't see it in the video. Setting up my tripod, putting my camera on, uh, headphones and the boom mic, setting that all up and getting my picture set up. I turn off the lights and now you can see the difference between uh, a nice light kit and your regular lighting in your home. You can see the difference. The camera just sucks this light up and loves it. Um, you can see I'm, I'm not too happy with this shot so I actually threw the couch in to the shot and uh, and we actually go with the couch for the shoot because the chairs are actually too wide. So now I'm going to show you some shots from the actual interview um, and this is all color corrected and I'm going to show you what I did. So I like doing fast zooms with, with my interviews uh, to make it a little more uh, engaging and fun for the, for the viewer's eye. Um, I like the close the close-ups like this, um, then I'll also zoom out a little bit uh, just to, you know, add some movement to the shot, see how I zoom it out, and, and I, I basically live by rule of thirds. If you notice, his head is in a third of the picture instead of right in the center. Uh, it, just, it, it just adds some off-balance to the shot and makes it more pleasing to, to see. Um, I also have a second camera on this shoot, and you'll see it come in right here. Um, Basically, these are just your random behind-the-scenes type of shots. Uh, I also add some crazy color correction to these, maybe black and white, make them a little dreamy looking, fuzzy. You know, you can go with different shots. And then I come back to my main shot. Uh, so that's basically what I do uh, when I'm shooting. Uh, I know this was a quick video. I just wanted to show you a quick recap of how I set up and what it, what it looks like to set up for an interview. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to email me, and uh, I'll make more of these. I'll do, do more slow motion stuff, uh, for, or I'll do it slower for you. That way you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'll show you how to set up the backdrop and everything um, in future videos. So I'll talk to you soon.